so this is going to be my take on a TLDR style guide for cooking. Um, I'm going to try to keep this around 10 minutes, pack as much information as I can and sort of go over how to get started, how to level and like how to determine what's profitable to cook. Right. So for starters, obviously cooking in BDO is like the process of taking materials that either you gathered yourself right or you bought on the market or your workers gathered right and turning them into a finished product in the end using the life skill cooking right so the reason most people probably gonna look for a cooking guide is they're gonna wonder you know what do i cook to level right like what, what do i cook to level um and in my opinion it's gonna come down to what's your reason for getting into cooking right if you're just cooking for cp right you want to gain contribution points or just level the skill in general you know pass, sort of passively not very uh not very in-depth way you can do something simple right so we can go to grilled bird meat grilled bird meat is pretty easy to do all you need is chicken meat and cooking wine deep frying oil and salt you can buy these from the vendor you can buy the chicken meat off the market, or you can use chicken meat collected by your nodes, Nervelia, right, at the chicken nodes. This is a pretty good one to do. You know, you can even sell the leftovers on the market, and you're always gonna need it for your workers. Um, you can do essence of liqueur. These are pretty easy to do. Again, one apple, one leavening agent, and wheat flour, just one. Um, it doesn't even have to be wheat flour, it can be almost any kind of flour can be used um this is another good one and then another good one is also vinegar all right vinegar is another one of those pretty easy ones that you'll need for higher end recipes or you can just sell on the marketplace wheat leavening agent sugar apple it's pretty straightforward all right um and then the next path which is probably my personal favorite is Let's say you want to get into cooking to do Imperials, right? Let's say your goal is Guru cooking so you can do Guru Imperials, right? So we go to the Guru cooking box. This right here is a list of meals that can be turned into Guru Imperial boxes to turn in for profit every day, right? So what I would do, if that is your goal, I would pick a specific meal and kind of cook the subcomponents and the meal itself and stockpile them up on your path to Guru. So therefore, once you hit Guru, you already have a stockpile together, right? So what I personally did was Balanos meal, right? So I would type in Balanos. Um, again, if you're not too sure how to get to this, if you press F2, it's pretty much like a search engine for the majority of craftable items in the game. So like you see all of the subcomponents to make Balanos mules, right? Most of these subcomponents give pretty good EXP. So what I did is I mass produced Balanos meals themselves, even though I couldn't turn them in until I hit Guru, right? I still mass produced them. And then by the time I went hit Guru, I had well over 200,000 Balanos meals, right? That is, in my opinion, the easiest way or the smartest way. I wouldn't say the easiest way, but the smartest way. Um, even if you just want to do master, right? Let's say you just want to do master imperial boxes. So you type in master, master cooking boxes, right? And so you have this list. Let's say you choose something like meat croquet. So you type in meat. Go down to uh, meat croquet. Bam. You can mass produce these until you get master, which master doesn't take very long. It's just a couple hours of semi-AFK cooking, right? And then bam, you have a large stockpile of them for when you're ready to turn in your Imperials. Uh, that's the way I would do it. And then the last way, if you want to just be generalized, you could cook pickled vegetables, right? Like if you're not sure what you want to turn in, once you hit Guru, you can do pickled vegetables. It's a very useful uh, subcomponent that goes into things like media meals, combat rations, and things like that. So it's pretty high up there. It's pretty easy to make. Cabbage, eight leavening agent sugar and vinegar vinegar is pretty simple to make as well um and you can buy the apples and the veggies from an npc that i'll show you in a little bit so that kind of is like my tldr on how to level um next we'll kind of go into in decreasing your cooking time you'll kind of ignore my inventory it's a 
it's a mess um first off we're gonna go over your cooking utensil right so the advanced cooking utensil is probably the one you're gonna be using the majority of the time it decreases your cooking time by one second and it has 900 durability um, one second may not seem very much but that's 900 seconds over the course of this entire utensil that you save which is pretty good um you either buy them off the marketplace so we go to the central marketplace we type in cooking they usually sit on the market um maybe not always so sometimes you may have to make your own but usually you can just buy them off the market uh, but that does kind of cut into your profit margins or if you want to make them yourself oops, you can pick a city like Heidel, right go to the top right scroll down to tool workshop you're looking for a tool workshop level three like this and bam you can make the advanced cooking utensils um and this will you know save you profit margins if you make them yourself but you also kind of got to account for the time it takes to make them right um next up we have alchemy stones alchemy stones are pretty nice um even if you just use these life spirit stones they'll save you 1.1 seconds per uh, per tick right which is pretty nice because you can get them easy so you type in spirit and usually they're flooded on the market you see there's 87,000 of them and the majority of them are min price like 83,000 of them are min price so you could always buy these and keep them going for the 1.1 second time decrease that's pretty nice and then next we have food right so I would recommend using seafood cron meal there's a couple others you can use like like back in the day we would use Tef sandwich which is good 0.5 seconds right uh, but nowadays we have what's called seafood cron meal which is a combination of a couple meals you can buy it off the marketplace it's gonna decrease your cooking and alchemy time by 0.6 seconds give you 10% exp give you 100 weight which is good for cooking for longer sessions so you can hold more recipes without having to go to the storage as often and it'll give you 25 mastery which we'll kind of touch on a little bit slightly uh, probably the biggest determining factor is your silver embroidered cooking clothes so these silver embroidered cooking clothes are they sort of enhance like accessories and the higher tier it gets the more it decreases your cooking time right so we're gonna go to we're gonna type in cook we'll scroll down silver embroidered cooks clothes so as you can see plus one minus two seconds plus two minus three seconds and plus three minus four seconds um, the one that majority of people use I would say is plus three you can buy them off the market for a pretty reasonable price or you can make one yourself um, I definitely recommend getting a plus three eventually you don't have to start out there but I would work towards it um, if you want to make them yourself and not buy them off the marketplace you can come to like Altanova um, at the top right scroll down to costume mill click one of the ones that are costume mill and bam it's the first thing and it's pretty straightforward put the things that go into this specific costume into the storage and your workers will make them and you just smash them together using like a couple low fail stacks um, I definitely wouldn't over stack for them and then next we have verter draft verter drafts are pretty good if you need that extra um, oomph of like cooking time it's an extra one second off you'll get 20% life extra exp and you'll get an extra 200 weight these are pretty good when making certain recipes like grilled bird meat because you're with grilled bird meat it's weird in the in the sense that your weight goes up as you cook because the final product weighs more than the beginning like the materials you start with right so these are pretty good you can usually buy those off the market as well right you don't have to really go out of your way to make them they usually sit on the market at almost all times and then they're given out in advance as well um, that's kind of why I have these like event ones um, and then last but not least the pay to win cooking clothes so it is the canopy set right here the canopy clothes they will lower your cook time by two seconds and it will give you 15% cooking exp this is uh you know it's obvi obviously it's kind of controversial because people that are willing to pay you know get lower cooking time but it's i would definitely say it's worth it um if you don't buy any costume i recommend buying this one 
because it's one of the it's, I think it is the only life exp uh, close that also gives you combat exp at the same time as being functional in terms of cooking so that's a pretty good one and overall the goal is to get your cooking time down to one second and if, if it's 1.3 it's whatever right like it's close as you can get so we pop this put these clothes on already have an alchemy stone going a life stone so we'll pop that and then we'll hit the draft right so we're gonna go here and cook i had some date palm in my inventory so we'll just pop that and see what our cook time is so bam we're one second cook time right and this is the uh this is kind of like the best or the picture perfect scenario that you want to get to one second cook time so you're doing one craft every second. And then, so next we'll talk about, I'll kind of touch on Imperial cooking. So Imperial cooking is definitely something that I recommend doing. Imperial cooking is basically taking certain cooking recipes, pressing L, going to Imperial cuisine and turning them into these cooking boxes that can be sold to the NPC, right? So I had some meat croquet that I was gonna use for an example. So we click start, we box them up, and we're going to take them and sell them to the NPC for untaxed silver. So we're gonna run out here really quick. I probably should have been already standing out here. But we're gonna go over here, the Imperial delivery. It's in most major towns. And then as you can see, you can sell this box for 550K, right? 550k plus whatever bonus of uh, silver you get for your mastery. So this is a pretty pretty good uh, pretty good way to make money every day. I assume that the average player, if you have around 300 CP, 310 CP, P, C, excuse me, CP, and you are a master cooking, you can make around 90 to 105 mil a day pretty consistently it's good if you're whether you're a grinder whether you're a life skiller whatever you do i definitely recommend you to do that um so next we're kind of gonna go over how to determine if something profitable i'll just use date palm wine because i had you know the items in my inventory to make that at the time so we'll go to the market and we look up date palm wine right and so you sort of to give you a like a thought process or how to get into the thought process let's say what's popular right now so right now um fig pies process is like uh, or gathering is very profitable right so what do gathers need gathers need fig pie right gathers are going to buy fig pie because it increases their their drop rate right so you think okay well then you would look and see what goes into fig pie and then determine if it's profitable um, we'll do that right now with date palm wine, right? We'll do that right now with date palm wine, just as an example, because I have some of my inventory. So we see the price of date palm wine right here, and we're going to tab out to this website called BDO Day. BDO Day is a very, very useful website. Uh, I'll link it below in the description. It's really good in terms of helping you do calculations, keeping up with certain math for you, especially in the beginning where you don't have like spreadsheets or anything like that to go on. So we're gonna scroll down and find date palm wine. So bam, here we go, date palm wine. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It has almost everything set up for you. Uh, you go up here to craft quantity, you hit 900 because one advanced utensil has 900 durability, right? You keep all this stuff the same. And then you wanna go down to here and edit the price, right? So date palm currently on the market is 2,240 silver each and then the fruit you put 700 because you can buy fruit from the vendor for 700 silver grain uh 590 is what corn was going for earlier and then you come over here to the final the finishing product put the value of date palm wine itself which is 2410 all right and then forget what mild date palm wine is one second so we type in date mild date palm 2290 so 2290 ma'am and submit changes 
And so this is going to calculate roughly how much profit you would make if you were um, doing said recipe and selling them for said price, right? So then as we go here at the bottom right and we see the total profit, as you can see, you actually lose silver doing this craft, right? So it would not be profitable for you to cook date palm wine and sell it, but it could all it could be profitable for you to cook it and use it into, you know, Valencia meals or whatever other kind of meal you're currently working on is like a sub recipe or even cooking it for exp right some people are okay with taking a little bit of a loss just to get more exp um so that kind of gives you like an insight into what to think about and how to go about it but again bdo day is a very good website for someone that's just starting out and trying to get into cooking um and it can save you a lot of time right instead of a lot of tri like trial and error and having to do math yourself uh, next, we're going to kind of talk on, touch on Manos, right? So Mastery System came out, and the higher your cooking level and the Mastery Gear that you have, the higher your Mastery number will be, right? And the way Cooking Mastery works is the higher your Mastery, you get these things called Mass Procs. And what Mass Procs do is by using one durability, your character can Mass Proc and do like 10 cooks in at once and so it saves you a lot of time and it also increases the chance that you're going to get extra high grades right so for example let's say you're cooking meals right we'll type in meals let's say you're cooking balanos meals well the higher your mastery is the higher chance you're going to have of getting special balanos meals so it's really good in the sense that it sort of increases your profit and it also like increases the time um, that you can cook right how fast you can cook and lowers how much durability that you use so you don't need as many cooking utensils um, and so some people ask well why wouldn't I just cook with my mastery clothes right so why if you if it makes it better and get more procs why wouldn't I just use my mastery clothes right so as you see I switched over to my mastery clothes I'm gonna put date palm wine in this lowers our cook time right by at times our cook times by four so most people would rather have the faster cook time instead of having the extra procs just in terms of time right because time is money but the most useful part about having mastery clothes is it increases how much profit you make when you turn in imperial boxes right so that's the big plus to having mastery I'm going to turn one in and show you, but as you can see up here, I've already turned in my daily quantity of Guru Boxes. But basically, it increases how much silver you make. So, you can hover over the tooltip, and it'll just completely explain everything to you, right? So, I have extra 56% profit at my current mastery when turning in boxes. So, that's an increase 56% of the base price of the box, which is really, really nice. And it's going to increase how much profit you make from doing the Imperials every day. Um, and another thing, I wanted to show you where the NPC is. Uh, there's an NPC that sells fruits and veggies. And he's very important because a lot of recipes are going to call for like cabbage or apples and things like that, which you will have to use buy the boatloads and so instead of having to go collect them yourself or buy them off the market for inflated prices you can buy them from the npc for a cheaper price and as many as you need right so i'm currently in calfion right I'm currently in calfion this right here is my location so take a screenshot of this remember this place and you come in this house right here and there's the npc fruit handling NPC shop they have strawberries which can be substituted for any fruit and they have paprika which can be substituted for any vegetable this is really good so let's say you press f2 and you go to pickled veggies right pickled veggies so pickled veggies is going to call for eight cabbage well you could use eight paprika instead of using eight cabbage right because again I mean let's say you wanted to use cabbage for one, it's always sold out, and it costs 3,700 you know, silver each. So why would you use cabbage 
when you could substitute that for paprika. So this is another like really important thing that you should know when you're getting into cooking. Um, and I think that's about it. I kind of hit on a little bit of everything. If there's anything that I forgot, you'll let me know in the comments. Or if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I feel like I hit everything, though. We kind of went over mastery, went over lowering your cook time, sort of how to get started, what to cook to level up. And, yeah, thank you for watching.